innovation? It works here. Manufacturing breakthroughs. Creating game changers. Inventing ideas that work. Now, we're exporting intelligence and mining minds. Because innovation works here. Building better. Developing brilliance. Unleashing productivity. Because innovation works here. Thinking. Doing. Sharing. Talent works here. Curious minds work here. Innovation works here. Ghana, like many African countries, is undergoing urbanization. Accra has expanded so fast that planning has been unable to keep up, neither has the formal addressing system. Houses are simply built without names or numbers. So for Ghanaians, the best way to share their location is to try to give directions using landmarks. Go past the roasted plantain cellar, turn right at the bridge next to the kiosk with a Coca-Cola sign, eight houses on the left with a red rooftop. Quite funny, right? But it ceases to be funny the very moment we need the services of the police and ambulance during an emergency service. Will you be in the position to tell the police to look for a plantain seller who may not be there at 2 a.m. when you are being robbed? It is quite frustrating for the ambulance service to take 15 minutes to drive 20 kilometers to a location but spend about 40 minutes just trying to locate the specific house in need of an emergency service. This is why the app Cordred, built by Sesenam Dagadu of tech innovation company Tiny David, brings such refreshing relief to Ghanaians. Cordred is essentially a variation on Snooker for the, for the design for the ambulance service. Um, it's, um, and so, yeah, so we essentially we, we built a version of Snooker for the ambulance service so that the ambulance service would be able to find, um, you know, patients wherever they are in the country, even, even under some of the most difficult operating conditions um, that can be found anywhere in the world. While cold red solves a very big problem, it is quite simple to use and equally simple to operate. You download the app and then you uh, stand in front of your house and you push the generate code button and then you get a code. Now no one else knows this code for you, you know, um, so you then give that code to the people you trust or the people you need services from. Um, so there's, you know, there's, there's privacy there. Um, and you know, they, we do a lot of things to maintain that privacy. So for example, um, um, you know, with the last three digits, it's not sequential. So, just because my code is, you know, C O F A A A, doesn't mean my neighbor's is going to be C O F A A B. It's, it's scrambled. And so, unless my neighbor gives me physical access to his or her house, I cannot get her code. A careful analysis of Code Red technology shows that it doesn't only replace a traditional addressing system, but may even work better than the European style addressing system because of the handicap of illiteracy. Anyone who cannot read cannot use a traditional addressing system, but Code Red doesn't have that barrier. The idea was born from his own frustration having been raised in Ghana till the age of 10, completed his schooling in the UK before pursuing his system engineering studies at the university. But unsure of what he was doing with his life, he put his education on hold to return to his home country where he took up a position at Echo Bank in Accra. It was here that Sesenam Dagadu discovered how Ghana's lack of formal addresses could hamper business. However, in building Snoo Code, which is the original app Codred was developed from, Sesenam Dagadu drew insights from some landmark disaster situations across the world and the kinds of difficulty emergency service providers faced in locating victims. We wanted to build something that could totally go off the network and still perform, right? So, you know, the devices we gave to the ambulance service don't have SIM cards in them, right? And they work. Yeah. Right, um, and they work in some of the most difficult areas. So we trained when we trained the ambulance service. We, tra we trained them in you know some of the slums in Accra. Um, so some of the most difficult operating 
places where you know the houses are built in an ad hoc fashion you know there are streets where they're not supposed to be streets and plus some places where they're supposed to be streets their houses um, and so with that you know we did we, we did it specifically so that because if we can work in some of the worst slums in Accra then it will work in some of the you know it will work in all the plush areas so in a nutshell Code Red is an adaptation of the original addressing and navigation technology SNOO code for the ambulance service. It was financed by the Vodafone Foundation. The ambulance service doesn't need internet connectivity to locate a distressed home, neither do they need SIM or mobile networks to do so. But we realize the SNOO code can also be applied to other emergency services like the police and fire service. What will it take? To make this happen, we are we are ready and willing to provide our technology. Um, but you know there are other costs, you know the cost of devices and stuff like that. And anybody willing to come forward um, and sponsor it or you know help with that, you know, you know. So we're ready and willing to provide it to the ambulance service and the Vodafone Foundation covered the cost and it happened. And you know, there's nothing to stop that happening for the police or the fire service. Tiny David has proven that technological you know innovations may well be the silver bullets to some of Africa's biggest long-standing problems. Mm -hmm.